Hello guys and welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. I thought today, seeing as it's the 14th of December, we should do an update on my crossbreeding project. I did one, um, I think it was about a month ago, so I think it's time that I updated you on my progress. What I'm going to change today as well is I'm going to add some shrimp to some of these other tanks. And we're going to have a look to see what we have, okay? So what I'm going to do guys, just because I want you to see the shrimp in the best possible qualities, we're going to switch to macro mode. One momento. Okay guys, this is my orange eye blue tiger tank and this is the one where I have uh, stardust in here as well and I also have uh, this panda in here. Uh, this panda looks to me like a female but she, her undercarriage is more shaped like a male. Right? And If you look at the, the shape of it, what I mean here is she has the like the frying pan shape um, on her side there that, that tells me that she is a female but when you look underneath it actually looks more like she's a male with her undercarriage being kind of closed, right? So I'm not really sure about this shrimp and how it's going to do in this tank. Um, none of these shrimp in here are buried. This one at the front, the very, very front here is a, a female. Smaller ones are males. You can see the one of the normal uh, morphs of the blue tiger shrimp right behind those ones. But there's not really much else to say about this tank. Let's go on to uh, my little breeding project with the steels. Uh, this one, the, the female is away of the bark. You might be able to see her here, just, but she will be out of focus. She's here, see her? She's there and she's been buried for approximately three to four weeks now. With, uh, I think she has the cross from the Thai bee, the zebra Thai bee that's in here as well. You can actually just see him there as well, he's on the sponge. And um, all that you can really see in here just now is the babies from her last batch before I started my crossbreeding project. Okay, so just scarred a bit around in here there is a uh, blue steels in the gravel etc. I'm in here my pintos uh, one of the females is buried it happens to be that one right there dead center of the screen she is buried um, the rest I can't really see anything going on with them at all but I'm changing nothing in this tank okay there is the odd little Thai bee running around in here as well that I see every now and again. Now this tank up here, uh, my plans for this today are I'm going to add possibly a crystal black female. If I can find a good one I'm going to put her in here today. Because I want this tank to be as varied as possible. Right? So in here we're going to have a crystal black female and we're also going to put in a crystal black, uh, a crystal red female as well. Right? And the reason I'm doing this guys is because I want the fancy type uh, shrimp as well. The ones where the tiger breeds with the um, normal bee mutation and you get all fancy looking coloured ones. Let's go over to my other orange eye blue tiger tank here with the males because this is quite interesting. The females in here have grown quite large. You can see her, she's a big big girl. She is approximately two and a half centimetres and they are not buried though. Um, so they've grown quite large and I can't really see any eggs. Let's see, can we go under and have a little closer look to see if she has eggs? It's really, really hard to tell. I noticed on the other one as well is, is um, they're not fanning like they typically do if they have eggs. So I'm pretty sure these two girls don't have eggs. Beautiful shrimp punch, isn't she? Big, big girl. The other one is over there. That you can't see because of macro mode. Oh, maybe you can. Thank you. And the male is there as well. Right? So my plan for this tank today is to uh, move another male into this tank as well. See if we can speed up the mating process in here. Because these two girls are growing and growing and growing and this male doesn't seem capable of um, fertilizing them. So that's going to change today. We're going to put a female in there as well. Let's show you my crystal black tank with my King Kongs. Because some of the girls in here are getting really big as well. This is what happens when you do culling uh, to the point where you take out all the smaller males etc. You get something like this. You get quite a few big um, crystal blacks. You can also see a pinto here. You see it? over there with the red head. This is when I did the 
change from the Shrimp King soil, I acclimated a female into this tank that was buried and she had her babies in this tank. They've actually put a few of her babies into the other tank as well, so that's where this one comes from. Um, so what we'll do here is, well, I'll pick one of these females, I'll pick one of the nice ones and they will be going into the bigger tank. Let's have a little look at the crystal red spoil over here. They've been fed and they've all scattered, you can see. They've all taken their little bit of food and they've beaten it basically. So what I'm going to do guys is, I'm going to show you me picking the shrimp today and we're going to acclimate them together because I thought I'd make this a little bit of an interesting video. Okay, so one momento, I'm going to get the equipment set up and we are going to drip acclimate them. So we are at the Crystal Red Shrimp Tank and we are looking for a male here that has solid colour. Okay, because um, with these crosses, what's more important for me right now is the colour and then we want the stripes and stuff from the tiger, right? So we're looking for a male in here that has solid colour. Which might be a little bit harder than it looks because I haven't really culled this tank in a while. So there's quite a few males in here that are pretty blonde. But we will find one. We will find one. And we shall see, right? So I'm wanting a shrimp that stands out like one of the better ones. We might have to hunt for one. Here's one here, this one's quite good, but I'm not sure if this is a... See this one here? Let's see, is this a male or a female? I think it is a male. Is there any better ones I can choose from? Mm. You don't see um, a lot of the um, dullness in the shrimp that I do, looking from my eye, the camera it shows that they're actually quite bright. Like this, cam this shrimp here looks very, very good, but it's not that great. So let's find one. This guy here. This guy. Oh, I think he wanted to be chosen there. And so what I like to do is push the net up against the glass, get them to turn. Come on, turn, yellow bugger. And then bring it up slowly. Not to panic them. When you get to the top, just wait for a second. Right, because they will always try and jump. Now I'm using the camera and I don't want to drop this guy. See, it's jumping. Right, and I want to make sure I get this guy. Oh, come on now, don't be difficult. Into his little container without dropping him because normally I would put my hand over the top. Right, let's go on to the crystal black tank and see what nice coloured female again we can use here now. I'm not going to take the biggest females in here because some of them are really really nice but they, um, like some of the bigger ones like here for example, this one, she hasn't been buried for a while so I'm pretty sure a lot of the females uh, they get to certain sizes and then they just stop breeding completely. So let's have a hunt for a female. This one here is a nice one there. She's pretty small, but I can tell already she's going to be a nice female. So let's have a quick look over here. This one's nice as well. This one's actually very nice. I think this is the one. This one probably has Taiwan B genetics because you can see the difference in the colour. Her colours are much more vivid uh, than a normal crystal bee. You, no you normally get that with crystal blacks that have been crossbred with Taiwan bees. And so I'm pretty sure, if we look at her side here, that this is a girl. She has the round uh, spot, the fine pan signature thing, like you would say, from a girl. Even if she's not a girl, I mean, she does look a little bit thin, where she might be a male. But even if she is a male, she will still breed with other ones in the tank anyway. It's not I'm not specifically looking for a male or female for that tank, right? So let's get her out of the tank. With a little bit of luck, she will dive right in, like so, get to the top, let them do their thrashing around for a second, let them relax, because I hate it guys when I do this and the shrimp jump out the net onto the floor and it makes life so difficult because I want to save the shrimp but it's hard for me to do it on camera. Yeah, there you go. 
And while we're here, right, because I was looking at this tank here, there are some really, really nice shrimp in here now. K14 tank, there's, there's a male there that's K14 and the white is solid and the crown is absolutely awesome. There's also quite a lot of these beautiful um, goldens here. So we're going to add a golden as well, just to put that into the mix. I'll probably take this one here, the one that's right on the side, it's easy for me to get. And we have a tub already ready for him. So let's go. Let's see, will they play ball? Now I can't get the net against the side properly here, so just be gentle. Come on, go in yourself, little shrimpy. Now shrimp always, when they move with the panic, they always go backwards, right? So you want to cover the back quarter of their of their little bodies. See how I'm kind of angling the net at the back? So in case it jumps backwards, it will go jump straight into the net kind of thing. And you go. Right, go up to the top. Let it do its thrashing around. If it does it, some of them don't. Some of them do. Right, let it relax. Let it know it's not going to be killed. And here we go. Right, so that's three shrimp I have. I'm going to quickly set up the drip acclimators and then I'll be right back. The acclimation is over and now we're going to add them to the tank. Let's do this one first though because this will be the hardest one. Because the space here is so small, we're going to try and tip this guy into the tank. Okay? So with a bit of luck, he will go in here first time. Oh, there he goes. That's how easy it was. And he's away swimming to the back. See him? Now, again, I want to emphasize that these were double dipped, and that means I let this fill up twice with water before I did anything else, okay? Let's get these guys done over here, too. This is the golden that's going in here. What was cool guys, I noticed earlier on, before I put this beautiful shrimp in here, I noticed the shrimp love chola wood. They seem to be grazing on the chola wood more than anything else. I do notice it gets a little bit of fungus on it and it also gets quite a bit of algae on it. I'll show you the algae in one of the other tanks actually. So there we have a golden in here. And we're going to put a crystal black female in here. I think she's a female, but even if she's not, it doesn't matter. This tank is, uh, it has quite a variation of something now in it. Let's see. You know, the other variation of shrimp that I could put in here as well is an, is an orange eye blue tiger. Which I might actually do as well. I might leave that to the next time though. We shall see. Come on, up you go. Not cool. So there is another variation. Look at the. Remember, I said to you guys that she might have um, Tiger Bean gene genetics because of the, how uh, vivid. And contrasting her colours are. Look at this one here. This is a panda there. This is a crystal black. There's not really that much difference apart from uh, the face around the rostrum area is black. See it? So I think she might be um, a Michelin. Some type of Michelin that is morphed a little bit because some, sometimes you get these shrimp like this and they have more vivid colours than your standard crystal. Alright. So there is my video for uh, the 14th of December, my crossbreeding journal. Hopefully the next time you see this we should have some buried shrimp in here. I think I will also add an orange eye blue tiger in here just to give it that little bit of a mix. Thank you for watching guys. If you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And I'll catch you the next time. What are they doing? Are they, are they fighting over, over something? Oh, give me it. See you later guys. Bye.